but what I want you to do for me is not to slide anything under. While they're drying, every half an hour, ladies, bare feet it. Get in there and walk them. Why? To Why speed ladies? up the... No guys eating my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Good morning. Yeah, I thought I was gonna come to you today with this job done. I couldn't finish yesterday. I'm really close though. I don't know if you remember, but this panel looks really good inside. I'm gonna show you later with, with the full result. But this second panel that is the electronics panel for out like, you know, shark plotter, autopilot, everything. It was like a work in development. Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, I had an electronic and then another one, another one, and all the wires were new, but it was messy, just like now it's, um, it's messy. So I always wanted to do it properly and I promised the new owner of the boat that I was gonna deliver the boat to him if this properly organized it and that's what I'm doing. The new man at work is so much better now. It's all like every single T connector, it's bolted to the boat head. So that means it's like actually, you know, won't move and that means less problems when the connector moves because if the connector moves, sometimes, you know, you lose signal. So I'm trying to do all in a perfect way and I'm almost done, but I couldn't finish yet. I'm gonna try to finish today later. But now we need to go to the shop to buy some things for painting and for some other jobs we need to do. And it's good to do it now because the sun is not really high yet. So it's not that hot. And that's the cool thing about here is that the store is right by. Let's go. Let's <laughs> show you Virgin Marine. <laughs> Life on the dry. Back to the ladder. I'm gonna miss this orange bowl. This is like beautiful. That's the only thing I don't like about... Oh, I didn't tell what you're gonna do. <laughs> Not time yet. Yeah, we have big surprise. I, 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 I hope I can bring some orange to the new surprise, but I'm not sure yet. That's, <laughs> so I'm gonna miss this orange bowl. Yeah, Duca talks too much. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And Jeff is present. Budget Marine. That's how far it is. It's like right on the door of the marina. That's pretty good. Roberta knows exactly what she wants to write. She's like going straight to what she wants to buy. And I'm gonna tell you, she's gonna buy... Oh, it's tennis too cleaner. That's what she's gonna buy. <laughs> or, oh, that's why you came here. You came straight to the Sika Flex. <laughs> we do need it. <laughs> we actually do need That's. I think that's gonna be the last Sika Flex we're ever gonna buy for Odd. <laughs> to be honest, to be fair, we do have Sika Flex on the boat, yes! but I think it's expired. So, yes. you know, we need to reseal one of the hatches and we're not gonna reseal it expire one that's emotional <laughs> let's seek a flex or not what's this oh thank you oh it's bright now yeah so we need to clean some stainless steel as you guys know we have a lot of jobs to do on the boat but our friend invited us to try something different. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. I've always been curious to fly a POV, you know, the drone that follows a different kind of drone. FPV. FPV, yeah. So I always wanted to try FPV <laughs> drone. And today we're gonna go to our friend's boat because he been flying that for a while and he said I'm gonna crash for sure the first time <laughs> so I needed to do on a simulator and he has a simulator on his computer hello how are you yeah <laughs> so so Dylan is gonna make it possible for me to crash without you know breaking things and spending money we're just gonna crash on his computer because you know it's better <laughs> I saw a video when he started flying he crashed like in the top three and crashed twice and just I don't want to do that in spending money so it's better <laughs> to crash on the simulator yeah, definitely. <laughs> and also because we need to take a break from boat yard. Uh, every day, all day long in the boat yard, it's good to go to We are doing boat. great, actually. The speed of the, the boat works is doing great. Yeah, so, so we can take like a couple yeah. hours off and go to our friend's <laughs> boat to float a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. been like a week, we are out of the water already. Yeah. It's good to go to the water. Back to dinghy life. <laughs> I miss this. One of the cool things for me of living on a boat is just visiting friends by dinghy. That's always <laughs> awesome. Here we go. It's so funny to see a boat for the first time when you know the boat from the internet for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dylan has a channel that I used to watch like 
years ago because his main channel do like uh, tiny house interviews about you know people that live in tiny house and when he bought this boat the tour of the boat was a really cool video that I watched no, 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 and I always the link on the and we always talk about it, but we never yeah. met him in person and like oh we went to a bar the other day and like oh you're a dealer right that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah so, so really, he's, he has been living on this boat for five years five long years <laughs> But for boat life, it's like your whole life. It's a really nice cockpit, actually. It's a Morgan 38. It's a really nice size of boat, actually. The cockpit's great. So if you want to know more about this boat, check his channel, the video that he introduced this boat, that's a really nice video. So you can make raft. This here is a FPV drone, you know, the GoPro yeah. goes in there, you see through here, and you put the goggles on and you can see through. We're gonna be on here, so you're not gonna wear the goggles, we'll just look everything through there. So, this is the remote we'll be using, which is a different one than I actually fly with. And then this just connects automatically. Kansas, to learn how to fly a drone again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For it to load up, but the graphics are not amazing. It's not that much more difficult. The, the main difficulty is the fly. Yeah, as you turn, yeah, you gotta... How's the verdict? It's really hard actually, but I almost did in the barn by the wind, the door and out of the wind almost. I, I went in the door and crashed in the wall like, like more than 10 times. times. <laughs> he almost did that. <laughs> uh, How many hours did you <laughs> practice for that? Uh, Maybe 16. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 way more 16, than 16,000 hours. <laughs> yeah, way more than 16 hours. I was just pointing too high. I could do it now. Just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just don't want to do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> don't feel like. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Give the wind, it's like. So this is a, another level. It's Hanover. So you've got this whole city you can fly around. Wow. And there's all sorts of things <laughs> you can kind of fly through. If you, if you know how to. Well, how many drones do you have? <laughs> working or not working? Bro broken, bro uh, total on board? Yes. Or also in America? No, also <laughs> on board. No, everyone. Every single do we one. count the ones that I've lost in the sea? Yes. <laughs> yes. 12 maybe? <laughs> So it's time to go, we need to work for I need to real finish now. my electrical panel, yeah, I need to, I, I've been pretending I don't have a lot of board, board work to do, yeah, <laughs> you know, sometimes... Yeah. It's being too hot, so it's good to, Back to have work. a rest. Cool. Thanks for making it. Thanks Absolutely. so much, appreciate it. And appreciate okay, it. let's go, stop, stop. I'm just pretending. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Back to work. So, I believe the installation is done. I'm not gonna start already, you know, cleaning wires up, because I can, you know, tie this up and make it look pretty. Before I do that, I want to test the systems and the knee man at work. Otherwise, if I need to fix something, I need to untie all the zip ties again. And so it's better, you know, to be safe than sorry. So let's first close this. It's good enough to see. So I'm going to start one system at a time just to see. So multifunction display means knee man at work. So I'm just starting at the knee man at work and see if it shows up here. And if it shows up, it's going to show up wing speed and depth instruments and I hope it works I bring you good news new man at work is working let's go out and see if everything else is working now someone is working there it's going pretty good this product is really good actually you see the rust here yeah no rust anymore Shiny! Yeah, you know, when you say you're full time, you forget to clean the stainless steel all the time and you're just enjoying life. But once you go to the uh, to the dry, you need to, you know, keep up with the maintenance and we're trying to take all the rust. It's not really rust, it's just like stain on the stainless steel and we're taking all the stain off. So the new owner, when he, arri he arrives, it's just like pretty. Because it's stainless it's steel, doesn't mean that it doesn't stain. <laughs> it stains way much than our steel boat. Yeah, we have a lot more stain from stainless steel then from carbon steel that's you know that's the way it is but now let's start the chart for it and see if it works yeah working so this is how we know which devices are connected to the NIMIA network so let's see if everything is showing up so 
Wind Sensor, AIS, Def Sensor, Autopilot, Autopilot, Autopilot Controller, Rotor Feedback. So, AIS is showing a lot of AIS targets. You see the color around here that shows that's the overlay of the radar. That means radar is also working. Everything's working. That's such good news. Yeah, now it's, it's just working as well. Yeah? yeah. So now it's just organizing the wires and it's one more project done. I'm gonna show you when the project is 100% ready, when all the wires are pretty, because you don't want to see me, you know, climbing inside the panel and boat yoga. boat yoga as usual. <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm done with the project. Let me see. Pretty good. Here is still the same, of course, but inside, you know, it's just wow, much good better. Job. <laughs> yeah, that's something that every single time I needed to do something in the panel, I always like, oh, I need to fix that, I need to fix that. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're just gonna fix when we have a new one for the boat because, you know, when it's your boat, you just keep postponing mm -hmm. and postponing. But that's really good because now, anytime the new owner wants to fix something, he knows exactly what it is, which wire. Because imagine that how many negative wires we have on a sailboat so many when we bought this boat every single negative wire was black and there was no label on any of the wires now every little wire there is a label saying this is from the shark plotter this is from the light system this is from this this is from that so and it's when much we easier the boat, there was fuse instead of switch yeah and also there were so many less electronics oh yeah, just, you know, <laughs> 20 something years ago, you know, electronics were different than today. But now, the NIMA network, that's the other problem. The NIMA network, all the T bones, like the little T's for the network, were just with one screw. That means like 10 connectors with one screw, it was like bouncy all the time. And I think that's the reason why the autopilot would, sh would shut off. Now, every single T have one boat, so it's like it won't move anymore. So one more detail is that before the AIS and the tracker were installed behind this panel and in order to take this out and see the equipment you need to take these screws out, four screws out, that means you need to have a tool and now instead of installing there, I installed here. This is much better because the equipment has a few lights that shows if, it's, if there is signal, if the antenna is working or, or this and that and in this way you can easily check the lights inside the cabinet you never check I mean so the, if the AIS is not working you don't even know because you, you, you might be just receiving not transmitting and in this way it's much easier to see that's good now let's go to the next task next project the fan for the freezer is not working luckily we got one in Brazil <laughs> and luckily that's exactly the problem we've been thinking that the freezer is heating up too much and then I'm like I don't hear the fan on the back because there is a fan inside and a fan on the back and the fan on the back bro broke Supposedly it's a normal thing to break, it's just like a simple fan. So now I'm gonna install a new one. And hopefully we can have things inside the freezer because we cannot use the fridge while on the dry, so it's gonna be great. Now let's see if it runs the fan. The compressor is in. And the fan is in. We fix it. That's awesome. We fix the freezer while Colin is crossing the equator the and live streaming it. <laughs> win win! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we somehow feel part of that because we've been 15 days on Colin's boat once and I mean, just seeing the images just like feels like we are in his crossing and we're really proud of him. That's pretty cool. Our conditioning is on, so we need to close the window, I mean the door, the hatch, the, hatch, the comp companion, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, Roberta is, as usual, cleaning the stain on the stainless steel, she's really good at that, check this out, <laughs> doing a great job. Uh, and me, I'm gonna do something else today, I'm gonna open at least this, 
and that winch because it's time for some service. It's been there for two years. We've been using it for two years with no service, so it's time to open and re-grease. Simple job, not hard, but important. Otherwise, it makes noise and it's not as good and you know needs to be like really lubricated. Tick, 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 tick. To put in words how the colors are blooming To try to count how fast my heart is booming And it's hard to describe This fever I feel In front of me at my soul Sounds perfect to me, not any weird noise like before yeah. All good, one done Another one to go, but I'm not gonna film because it's always exactly the same. You know, you got the point, you just open, clean each one of the parts, put a grease, and put it back together. So, we still didn't take 100%. Out inside is fine. We're gonna leave this a little bit longer and wait until we are back from the waterfall. Yeah, that's right. We <laughs> rented a car today and we're gonna go around the island with a friend and just hang out and check their waterfall maybe the chocolate factory you will see there's a chocolate That's factory amazing. in there so let's go to the waterfall <laughs> 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 on the right i don't remember the last time i drove an auto <laughs> <laughs> So our first stop is the rainbow tree. It's a tree that looks like a rainbow and our friend as a local said it's really cool so we are gonna check it out. It's actually big. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see a tree like that? I want to tree make houses? a tree house. Tree hug? No, a tree house, <laughs> not tree hug. We need to do the house on the top. That's <laughs> Dylan's son is connected to the car, so we are hearing the drone landing. Landing. T -t 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 landing. <laughs> How much was that? Free. That's yours. It's a gift. Ready? It's a gift for you. Ready to have chocolate for lunch? Seems like it's gonna be good food. So it's a three course meal. I don't know what's the meal, but you see, you know, we took a day off. It's a special treat. We are leaving soon the island, so we need a special treat today. Oh. I didn't know it was that much of a special treat. So today was our last day sleeping at Odd. Exactly. Today we are moving to a room. <laughs> the chocolate factory, you need to start with chocolate. Good, sir. Thank you. So, what do you think? 
<laughs> so we are gonna do a tour of the chocolate factory now. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Meow. Ah, <stop. laughs> Originally, this would have been a sugar plantation. Okay. 1700s, French. Belmont, the name inherited from there. Beautiful mountain. After French, we did have the British sugar, cotton, and coffee. Today, cotton and coffee, that's a thing of the past. 1780, John Aitchinson and his family from Scotland, they were in charge. But you have to keep in mind, back then, slaves. Slavery abolished, 1834. Indentured servants brought in from Calcutta, India to Grenada. Is it from India? From India, Calcutta, to be exact. Okay. 1855. Descendants from these indentured servants in 1944. Norbert and his wife, Luris Nayak, they bought the plantation. They were of Indian descent. 35,000 pounds, 400 acres of land. It is still in the Nayak family's possession today. Cocoa requires a canopy. So okay. we grow cocoa with everything else. Oranges, okay. mangoes, bananas, papayas, guavas to provide shade, flavor mm. to the beans. The other plants. Through the roots, okay. the xylem and the fluid vessels. That's why when you suck on fresh cocoa, it's not like chocolate. But it's like an orange, a mango, a banana, a papaya, mm. guava. You're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to try it. <laughs> so to begin, this. Hmm? The flower coming right off the backs and the stems of the plant. Wow. Pollination, no seum, sand fly. Once pollination occurs, green pods. Second, red pods. Mm -hmm. Third and final, orange or yellow pods. Okay. Four months from this to this. So as an employee, come out to pick mm -hmm. bamboo, 15 feet with machete. Yep. Cut yellow pods down. Open. Voila. And tell me what fruity notes you encounter in there. Maybe a little bit banana. Banana? Maybe? Yeah, yeah. You're on track. Banana, mango. There's a yeah, mango. You know, these kind of things, yeah. Yeah. Yep. We recorded the beans as they are into the fermentation or sweat box. Mm -hmm. Average six thousand pounds. Wow. Fermentation six days. While fermenting for six days, the beans in there must also be covered carefully. Green banana leaves and burlaps. Why cover them? Let it sweat. Temperatures, as I said, close to 45 degrees Celsius recorded, so it gets hot. Oh, wow. So as you ferment for six days, every two days, 6,000 pounds oh. from one box to the other. Oxygenating, aerating, mixing it up. What, what happens to it? The pulp that we suck, mm -hmm. there's yeast in there naturally. Converting the sugar in there naturally as well into actual alcohol, carbon dioxide. So the pulp during the fermentation liquefied, bitterness subsidized, and then the chocolatey brown color together with the chocolate flavor comes about as we ferment. Okay. Taste color in certain white after six days removed brown. After we ferment for six days, we need to dry. In the sunshine, drying eight days. While drying for eight days, if it rains, these trays are all equipped to the wheels. Slide them under. Oh, that's why. Right? Yeah. But what I want you to do for me is not to slide anything under. <laughs> While they're drying, every half an hour, ladies, bare feet, it, get in there and walk them. Why? To why speed ladies? up the. No guys eating my chocolate. <laughs> the ladies are the ones in the yard, so they're the ones who engage in it. That's why, right? So you go in, feet under. And just drag, shuffle. They're like a natural. Inside is your nib. Camera don't want. Nibs. That's a little, thank you, nibs. All right, you're warming up. Mm. So nibble on the nibs. Calcium, iron, mm. fiber, antioxidants. Mm. All the good. good stuff you find in there. So this <laughs> is more like a sauna, like a greenhouse, huh? Yes. I can make chocolate now. Higher. Higher? Do I have a job now? You get paid in chocolate bars, huh? Oh, that's good. I can still put you like a little medium, but large and medium, roughly the same. And then, of course, the small. Oh, you need to separate. Yeah. Every because when you're roasting, the yeah. smaller ones roast faster. True. 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 Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit of paste. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, if we're going to export the beans, we need to polish them so they look pretty. That's it. Today, we don't export, so there's no need to polish. Yep. Large, medium, small. Still works. You stay right here. Let me put it on. 
large and medium in the middle mm -hmm. collected and the smaller ones collected as well but for the drink okay the these are for chocolates That's all cool. these here mm -hmm. not yet sorted Did you make chocolate already? We have a heat gun also. There's a heat gun right there. Do you like Willy really Wonka? <laughs> Thanks so much for the information. That was really, really awesome. Good luck with the board building. Thank you so much. We'll be seeing the future again, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be back in Grenada. When the boat's done, we'll be like, fine. Oh, hello, girl. Hello. This is said that they have a well where they get the mud and cheese. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Today we got emancipated. We're gonna leave the board and go to the apartment. Yeah, we need to start emptying the boat, and in order to do that, we need to have space to put our own stuff. So, Dane was nice enough to let us use one of the rooms of the marina. I mean, now we have our own private shower, we have a frigo bar, we have air conditioning, and a TV. We're not gonna watch TV, but it's there. <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home. Home for the next days. Yeah, we're gonna spend like 10 days here and in this way we can properly organize the boat for the new owner. By the way, Dan, thanks so much. We love That's so helpful. <laughs> Frigo bar. It's a nice size. Microwave. Oh, I like this one. Hey, bad. Shower. That's, the, that's probably like the, my favorite part. So we see you guys soon because we need to get our stuff in the boat to move here. Day two, exploring Granada. I hope today we go to the waterfall. Let's go. <laughs> it's a nice point of view here. Every day that we come to this boat yard, there are more and more boats. <laughs> yeah, the hurricane season is getting closer and closer and closer. And even though sometimes we don't, it doesn't seem like the other night we just went for a walk on the boat. I'm like, whoa, it seems like I have twice the amount of boats. Can you imagine this in a month? We're gonna need to pay more because the guide's going. Finally on our way to the waterfall. <laughs> it's a really nice day. Are we on the right path? <laughs> From time to time the dog bites our hands. We can hear already, there's a waterfall around. So I'm going 4x4 four four mode. 4x4 four four mode. Uh -huh. Now I can do anything. I dressed up. So there's no mosquitoes, but an ant just... Don't say too loud, because as soon as you say there's no mosquitoes, the mosquitoes are gonna come. You know, I, I, she's like 39 and she didn't learn yet. That's actually a lot better than I expected. That's really, really beautiful. It's actually, really, really beautiful. you are lucky because it rained this week. It's been a month that it was True. not raining, so it rained like a week ago for some days and yesterday. So it's... what? Oh, better it's getting ready to go to the water. No, that's not true. Is it true? Are you going in the water? Okay. Are you going in the water? Oh. Never seen that. Oh, better going into a waterfall. That's really news to me. That's gonna be interesting. I never seen someone flying a FPV drone like in person. That's gonna be the first time. And I'm really curious 
if can if if he can do a dive on the waterfall while yeah. I dive. Go, go. Yeah, I'm gonna dive from the top of the waterfall. The drone is gonna come behind me. The dog's gonna be on my back, and we're gonna you know dive together. The, the drone is gonna go under the water and back out. That's gonna be awesome. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Are you the best part of this waterfall? Are you? Are you? Aww. That's scary. I'm really, really curious to see if this drone is gonna come back. That's. I try on the simulator, on his simulator, on his boat, and that's already really hard. On real life, it must be even harder. What? <laughs> the drone just literally went up, flipping, and went to the top of the trees. I don't know. I, I have no the idea. Dog's how gonna it's gonna get fun. it. Now it's not a clickbait. It's not a drone. That's true. Now we need to find a drone. Now you know. Sometimes we do that. It's a oh, clickbait. There it is. Where? <laughs> right there. On the top of the tree? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah, right. It's like on the bamboo, right on the top. But he's experienced. He he lost he lost many drones before, and he always get them back. Yeah. Even though you use the simulator, sometimes the drone doesn't work as planned. Teamwork. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous drone. Yep. If you want to throw that, you can. Yeah. Saved! Good little life. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Just one more. So why it did that is a whole different question. Oh, mama, mama, I went looking for a better place for down the road. A place that can give hope back to her lives. Oh, and it feels like it's a thousand days. I was dragging in a haze. But I left a tiny part of me behind. Got a dog. Okay. How's it going? Very well. How about you? I just asked you that. Come in. Right, I'll see you again. I love you, okay? I love you too. Oh, it smells so bad. So I... What's that? Another ton of... Oh, oh. It smells so bad. Supposedly, Fort George closed. This is Fort George. Seems like a nice spot. He's investigating. He's, he's investigating. I'm documenting. Documenting a theory. I'm not. The, I have What's no a theory? theory? What's a theory? There is no theory. I just have questions. So the questions. There, there is supposedly a tunnel that goes from this fort to the top of the other hill, to the other fort, and he said it's so, too much impossible. How did they build the tunnel? <laughs> I don't know how much of this you're going to put on your YouTube channel, but since, we're, <laughs> since, since you're interviewing me, the fort we were just in, I asked, where's the quarry? 
that the stones came from because it's a massive fort, tons and tons of stone. And she said, well, most of the stone was imported from where? The other Caribbean islands. Because this island has like three or four forts that are all made from basalt and there's clearly not enough basalt on like this island. six forts, I think. Yeah, six forts that are all made from basalt, all made in the same time period. She was like, well, I can't say they came from St. Lucia because it came from all these different islands. It just seems odd. So they imported tons and tons of stone in the 1700s on ships, carried it up that big hill to build this fort and they built the fort backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then they've got a massive tunnel that goes from there to what is now the prison. And then next to the fort, they had an insane asylum, which the US bombed on accident. <laughs> um, because what theory could I have? I guess maybe that's my theory. My theory way. is just, the story uh, doesn't really make sense. Uh, how, how do you build a fort backwards? They said that they... they no, that's mechanics. not the point. That's not the point. How do you build a fort on top that when you're that. done, you realize that the cannon won't go that far in order to be used, but you say that you never shot a cannon. How do you know it won't go that far? And if you knew by theory, why did you even build the fort Wait, if you already knew? Entry. Well, and then we couldn't get into St. George's Fort to dig deeper into Dylan's theory. So I guess we will need to come back to Granada one day to finish this story. Now it's time to call up the day as tomorrow we have to start emptying the boat so we can fix a big mistake we made in the past before Odds ready for her new owner. <laughs>